Not everyone who is trauma bonded is codependent. Codependency gets thrown out a lot as a term that encompasses pretty much anyone in an abusive relationship. You'll hear it often used to describe people who have been in abusive relationships, toxic relationships with narcissists, psychopaths. But the origins of the term are actually rooted in substance abuse. It was used to describe people who basically engaged in excessive caretaking of those with substance abuse addictions, whether in a romantic relationship or it could have been a familial relationship like a parent-child dynamic, siblings, any family member could qualify so long as you were the one who felt overly responsible for taking care of them and sacrificing your own needs in order to try to save them. Basically playing the rescuer, the white knight, and deriving your self-esteem from these types of one-sided, non-reciprocal, dysfunctional relationships. So codependents have a history of emotionally caretaking others. They have a history of a fear of, of abandonment, and they derive a lot of their self-worth from taking care of others, from saving others from themselves. They get pride from it, in a sense. And some of them do take on this kind of martyr role, not to dismiss the pain, of course, that they experience and the suffering that they do experience when they realize that it is a one-sided relationship. And these can be very subconscious patterns that they're not really aware of, but they do go out of their way to sacrifice a lot of their own basic needs in order to fulfill others. A trauma bond is an inextricable bond that forms between abuser and victim due to intermittent reinforcement, hot and cold behavior, cruelty, and love bombing. Narcissists and psychopaths create very powerful trauma bonds with their victims because of their ability to manipulate, exploit, devalue their victims, and love bomb them. They're able to introduce danger and fear into the excitement of a new relationship pretty quickly after love bombing. So really, anyone can become trauma bonded to a narcissist or psychopath because they can devalue even the most successful, most attractive, most confident victims. They can erode their boundaries slowly over time. They can lower their self-esteem and diminish them over time through their rage attacks, their jealousy induction, their stonewalling behaviors, their verbal abuse, their psychological punishment and torture, gaslighting and projection. Anyone is susceptible to being trauma bonded, but not everyone who's trauma bonded is a codependent. Some victims start out very independent. They don't have this history. They may have a healthy upbringing, didn't caretake a parent in childhood, but they still end up trauma bonded.